Hey, what's up guys? It's me again. Back with another Marvel Legends action figure review. And today I'm having a look at the Marvel Legends War Machine Punisher. I know it's a simple repaint, but I just thought it was really cool. But there is the front of the box. You can clearly see the figure and all its accessories. And this is part of the Marvel 80 Years line. Well, here's the side of the box. Really cool design on that picture of the Punisher War Machine. Other side's the same. Another really cool picture on the back. And it has a very brief kind of generic read up. It just says, after the fall of War Machine, Frank Castle acquires the highly weaponized armor and makes it his own. Well, they really went all out with that read up. But there's the front again, so I'll take a second now. Get this guy out of packaging so we can have a closer look at it. All right, the Punisher War Machine is out of packaging, and to the top of its head, it stands about six and a half inches tall. And for his accessories, you get a set of fisted hands, have a huge peg on them, but he has his gripping hands on him out of packaging. He also comes with quite a few weapon accessories. You get this fancy War Machine baton. It's got some nice bright blue paint in it. And you get the version of that that is not extended or lit up or anything. It's like a charcoal popsicle. You get this accessory, which is like four gun barrels. It goes up on his shoulder. So it's like one of his shoulder guns that's contracted. I think it's the look they're going for with that. You get the shoulder gun that is out. And I actually tried to put this on there and it wants to pop out all the time. So I may end up gluing it in there or something because it does not want to stay. Then you get two of these guns, and these do have a point of articulation. That magazine will extend down. It's pretty cool. And there's also a couple different options with these ones. You can use this top peg, put it in his arm there if you like. Pretty cool. Or you can put them on these pegs on the leg, which I've kind of been having a hard time figuring out what way they're supposed to go on there. Maybe like that. I don't know. So that's all for accessories. Now we'll compare him to a few other War Machine figures. On the left, we have the War Machine Mark IV from Infinity War. And on the right, we have a Revoltec War Machine. That is the Mark I. And these guys all look pretty good together. I like that Marvel Legends didn't make this figure overly large. So it fits in pretty well with these import lines, surprisingly enough. Now here he is compared to the SH Figuarts Hot Rod Armor on the left, which isn't technically a War Machine armor, but it is made up of some of the War Machine pieces. And on the right, we have the Mezco 112 Netflix Punisher. And I could see him being in that suit. And lastly, here he is compared to the Hot Toys group. That's all for comparisons. Now we'll have a closer look at the actual figure. And again, I know this was a simple repaint, but... There's just something really cool about it. Maybe because I love Iron Man, War Machine, and the Punisher, so it's a win-win-win. But I really dig that skull. He's got his little skull kill counts here. Let's add that up. So total, there is 32 skulls on there. For Punisher in a War Machine suit, seems kind of low. He must have just got it. But aside from the skulls and stuff, there's some nice silver paint in there. You have some not-so-subtle dry brushing of the silver all throughout the figure. They just kind of blotched it on there. It looks okay, though, I guess. And for articulation on this Punisher War Machine, his head basically don't look up at all. That's like all you get. Down is a little better. Shoulders will go up that far because this shoulder pad is articulated, but it will not completely get out of the way. You can't spin the arm all the way around either due to that shoulder pad. His upper bicep swivel is right on that shoulder ball joint. You get a pretty decent double bend at that elbow. These wrists are pegged in and on a hinge, but they are also pretty hindered from this plate here. You have ab crunch, but again, you don't get a whole lot of movement out of it. It goes back that far, forward that far. Legs will kick forward that far, back that far. He does have upper thigh swivel. Really good double bend at the knee. You have an angled barbell type ball joint at the feet, but it's still hard to get any movement out of it because this leg piece drops down over the back of the boot. So you can get some like back and forth movement and you can get some pivot and very little forward and back. 
But as long as I can get him standing up straight, I guess that's really all I need. But now I'm going to throw some accessories on him, pose him up, and we will wrap this review up. Okay, so there is the Marvel Legends War Machine Punisher figure posed up. I basically just threw all the accessories I could get on him on it and stood him up. I do really like this figure. I like that it's not overly big and it fits in pretty well with my import war machines. And I did find this at GameStop. From what I heard, every GameStop was only getting a couple of these in. My GameStop only had the one. So I feel pretty lucky to have gotten it actually. But that is all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and review. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye for now. Man, this suit makes killing so easy. Should have got one years ago.